I'm equipment editor Jim Park. We're in Renton, Washington at Kenworth's R&D Center, and we're here today to have a look at some of the new aerodynamic refinements on the T680. Kenworth introduced the T680 about five years ago, and at the time they said it was the most aerodynamic truck they'd ever built. You can see what they've done basically from the whole truck perspective. They got nice rounded bumpers, smooth angles on the fenders, the uh, profile of the grille and the hood help to push the air up. Then you run into a fairly steeply raked windshield, of course that takes the air up and over onto the roof, and the roof is a nice smooth curve all the way from the windshield right to the very back. What Kenworth has done over the years is refined little bits here and there, and today we're going to take a look at some of those finer points around the wheels, under the fairings, and even under the sleeper. Let's get up close and have a look and see what they've done. So let's start with the front of the truck, because that's where we have our first impact on the air that the truck's passing through, the wind. Kenworth has designed this bumper air dam down here below the front bumper. It doesn't look like much. It's a fairly small piece, but it makes a big difference in how the air transitions from the bumper to around the wheels and underneath the engine compartment. The nice thing about this panel here is it's soft and flexible, and if you do strike it, strike it with a curb, uh, it's not gonna tear it off or do a lot of damage, and frankly, even if it does come off, it's not a really expensive part to replace. So what they've done with this latest iteration is added what they call a wheel well closeout. You can see here at the front, it's flat, so the smooth, the air is gonna go this way, and as you start working towards the back, this bearing, this wheel well closeout is cut in a bit, so the air is gonna hit it coming off the wheel, and around the corner it goes. They've even added this little transition piece right here, rather than leave a gap between the hood and the fender, so this helps push the air out a little bit sideways around that wheel as well. So that helps transition the air from the front of the truck, around the side, over the wheel here, rather than have it go in here, hits this, comes back out, and down the side of the truck it goes. So we'll go down the side of the truck too and have a look at what's going on underneath that side fairing. Now what they've done here with this particular model is they've made this side fairing extender a little bit closer to the ground. You can see there's only about two and a half to three inches of ground clearance there. That would make some people nervous, but again, it's a flexible piece. It's designed to take a bit of abuse. And if it does come off, it's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg to fix it. These new side fairing extenders here are a little bit longer than they used to be. Again, the idea here is to minimize the gap between the back of the sleeper cab and the front of the trailer. But this transition, again, just aids with closing up that gap, transitioning the air. You can see it's kind of angled out slightly. That helps to push the air around the gap and over the side of the trailer. So another inexpensive to replace part in a place that's fairly likely to be damaged sometime over its lifetime, but uh, this will help to uh, minimize the cost of replacing the damaged bits. So moving back to the drive wheels now, we've got another big obstruction here. Now Kenworth offers these flow below fairings to help transition the air again over the drive wheels fairly smoothly. Back to this kick panel here and out it goes where the trailer fairing starts to pick up some of the work of keeping the air out from under the trailer. You've also got these sporty wheel covers here. Uh, this helps keep the air out of the dish of the wheel. These are easy to replace, easy to take off when you're doing your wheel service. Um, not expensive, lightweight, made of plastic, chrome in this case, and uh, pretty easy to manage. There's also a locking version of this. Kenworth has also added this little side closeout piece here. It's attached to the top of the side skirt underneath the sleeper, and it's designed to prevent the side airflow from getting under the sleeper and eventually hitting the fifth wheel and the front of the trailer. So that's a look at uh, what Kenworth's done with the latest a uh, bunch of aerodynamic enhancements. The truck's been around five years now, and they've had a few different iterations of aerodynamics, but this one I think is the most comprehensive we've seen so far. Uh, no doubt the next four to five, 10 years with this uh, T680 model, I'm sure we're bound to see more. At Kenworth R&D Center in Renton, Washington, I'm equipment editor Jim Park.